Today, Fort Tilden is part of Gateway National Recreation Area, a national park located here in the city of New York. The Jamaica Bay unit encompasses Brooklyn and Queens, and Fort Tilden, of course, is a big part of that here in Rockaway. It's also this is Battery Harris West. This casemate was the site of one of the two 16-inch guns that were installed here at Fort Tilden, and it was the main reason for establishing the fort in 1917, though the guns weren't actually installed until 1922. The 16-inch guns were intended to defend against the largest and baddest weapon of the early to mid-20th century, which was the battleship, the Dreadnought-class battleship. New York City and New York Harbor were the most important seaport and harbor in the United States in the 20th century. So naturally, you wanted to protect the entrance to that harbor from any naval attack. So Fort Tilden was established during World War I, and it uh, matched the guns over on the New Jersey side of the entrance to the harbor over at Fort Hancock in Sandy Hook, New Jersey. There were two guns located here and three 16-inch guns located over in Sandy Hook. The fire control for all five guns was actually located in Fort Wadsworth in Staten Island. So between all the forts at the entrance of the Narrows, which would have been Fort Wadsworth and Fort Hamilton, and Fort Hancock and Fort Tilden, where we are now, the outer entrance to New York's uh, spectacular harbor and very important harbor was well covered. We're standing on what was Shore Road, which ran along the dune line at Fort Tilden here in uh, Rockaway, Queens, New York. If you look along here, you'll see these pilings sticking up out of the sand. That is what the Army built the dune line along. The dunes were there to protect the fort um, from things like storms, but also to provide uh, protection from gunfire, sort of a natural protection, and um, it also would provide camouflage so that the large 16-inch guns were not visible from the ocean, which is what the 16-inch the guns were defending against. So this is all damage due to Hurricane Sandy. Uh, what had been a pretty substantial road uh, was basically uh, flipped and torn apart all in a matter of hours, and the entire dune line, which was in some areas 15 to 20 feet high, was completely washed away. This is one of the two six-inch uh, gun mounts for battery Kessler here at Fort Tilden. The six-inch guns were M1903 models, which were used to defend the fort against beach landings uh, by small craft. Certainly, they were intended to defend anything larger than a destroyer. Uh, this gun mount was sitting right here on the beach. It was behind what would have been a dune line here. And Sandy actually exposed this. Was, this was nothing more than a mound of sand when you went by it before the storm. But the storm exposed the gun mount and the road leading into the, uh, the tunnel magazine. And that's where the ammunition uh, the shells and the uh, gunpowder would have been stored for the guns that would have been positioned here on the beach. Uh, Fort Tilden used to be the site of coastal artillery batteries, and then after those batteries were removed, it housed Nike missiles. Behind me, you see a representation of a Nike missile. They were Cold War era coastal defenses that were housed here at Fort Tilden. So there's a lot going on here at Fort Tilden beyond the beach. And we invite you all to come on down and see it. Come visit your national park.